Hello guys, welcome back. Samsk is here. Game staging. How we balance all our tracks or instruments all together. I'm going to show you here and the mix console how to do that in a very easy way. Follow me over here. So as you can see here guys, we keep working on the same project that we have started. And if you see here, we have like a few different sounds and I get uh, almost 12 yeah we get 12 different channels to start with probably it's uh, it's not that enough because in my project when i do my melodic tracks and my progressive tracks i always finish around 40 45 different tracks but to make it simple for lesson i think we should just keep it simple like this and uh, later on we can still work on something much more complex in this project, we are going to talk and focus more on into the gain staging. We're going to focus more into the gain staging, how to balance the different channels all together and we avoid the peak and the distortion from the, the master out. This one is actually where you are going to export your final project as a demo or as a mix down to send for your mastering you need to have the stereo master clean. How we get to there? First of all, you need to keep the channel volume into zero decibel. And what is interesting for us right now is the meter peak level, is this one. So we're going to play the track first and see what is the peak meter that we have right now and if we have any distortion. So let's play bar. <music> Also, the peak when it's uh, over distortion it gets to red so this means it's not good so I just click on top of it to reset the meter now let's see how much we have in the meter peak we need to end up by around minus 8 minus 9 before to start to do the EQ in and all the color effects because after that we will gain like 3 4 decibels on top of that and we will end up by probably minus 5 decibel and with minus 5 decibel it's good enough to send it for the mastering then the sound engineer will have enough room to add and to pump a little bit your sound so how much we have right now if I click on something I have 5 plus 5 decibel that's too too much high now we need to do the gain staging and to reduce all this peak and to balance all the sounds all together before to do that, I need to make sure that all my drums have their own group. I have my group here for the drums, group for the synth, group for the pad. But also need my group for my bass line. The guitar bass line and the, uh, the synth bass line all together. Okay, this is R2 all together. Let's make them in group. And I, you will understand the later on one I need to do this in group. So I click right as we have seen in the last uh, lesson add group channel to select channels and I will make sure that it's, since it's uh, baselines I'll keep them in mono and I will add here the name of baseline I say add and here I have my group of baselines so I have my four groups I'll come to that later on now let's start to do the gain staging with the drums first here i have i need to put on solo all my drums all together but i need to start with the kick drum and the clap to balance these together kick first i will put it in minus probably eight to start with and see how the clap sounds it's a little bit too high Okay, sounds good. Let's now add my open hat. Balance. My other close hat. Okay. Open hat. And percussion. Mm 
I think basically quick settings, it sounds already good. Okay, so now let's come to the bass line. We have the bass line and we have the synth bass. So this the bass guitar and the synth bass. I will start first with the bass guitar on top of the kick and see what they do together. That's the first thing I do. I think it's very important to balance the bass guitar and the kick first. They need to get together. I think it's good enough. Let's see now with the synth guitar. Without kick, drum. Now with all the drums. This is a little bit high. Okay. We already started to get some shape over here. Now let's get to the synth. So take away the drums first. See the synth with the uh, bass lights, how it sounds. The other synth. the shape together now. Let's try now with the drums, with the old drum set. Okay. Now take away again the drum set and see how the pads, they work together. Without the bass, only synths and the pad. Just try to keep this flow like this, step by step, and you will see at the end you will get something really fast and really smooth. With the other synth. Now let's put all together. For me, it sounds quite good for now. This is the first step. Let's check the stereo out and see if we still have that pick. First, we reset it. Now let's play. No pick. And if I click here, I see I'm around 26. Eight, it means that probably I still need to lose one or two decibels and now since I have everything is staged and balanced I can take away a few decibels only from the groups and I will take exactly the same one since my balancing is already set and I wanted to keep it that way so I come to all these groups and let's say I just take away two decibels from each Now my peak meter will be around 989. Nine. You see? Let's pick again, just click on it to reset it. It's worked very really good. Now my stereo out is set. My gain staging is done. And also my groups are here. And these groups, I'm going to use them also for other stuff. This is the first step how to get started before to get to the music arrangement. So next time we're going to talk about the panning, how we pan sounds left and right and open the sounds to make it a little bit sound more stereo and will be much more open in your ears, especially if you work with your headphones. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Ciao.